Are you real? Are you fake? Are you fake? Are you real? Five easy ways to find out. Before we start, an incredible amount of you do not subscribe to the channel, so please help a brother out by subscribing to the channel and also clicking on the notification bell as well. So let's go. So we're going to start with the easiest non-invasive method. So take your Yonex racket and peel any grip you have on the handle back and look at the cone and check the line of code. The first five digits refer to the date of the racket was produced. So the first two digits refer to the day, the next two refer to the month, then the fifth one referring to the year. The sixth digit is a manufacturing code. So in this example it shows the 13th of September 2013, which is actually correct. So if you have something like 45, 62 and 10, you know you've had it game over. Then finally you have the country code and th in this case you can see here is the UK. Other codes such as SP is typically referring to the Southeast Asian South Pacific region or JP for Japan, CH for China, KR for Korea etc. Now I've also heard shop owners in the UK telling customers that their rackets are fake if it's not a UK coded racket and this is absolutely not true. So for example, I play with the G5 grip sides and the UK coded rackets almost exclusively comes in G4, which is too big. So I tend to get my rackets from areas who are selling the models that I wanted with a G5 grip. It doesn't mean that the rackets aren't genuine, it's just marketed and labeled differently for a different region. So for the second method, besides the codes on the cone, there is also a line of numbers just above the cone on the shaft. This set of numbers is the serial number of the racket. To us, it typically doesn't mean much unless you get it to someone who is connected to Yonex and is able to verify if the numbers on the shaft and the cone matches. What is important here is the outlook and the font of the numbers. It wouldn't pass Yonex's quality control if there are any defects with the serial numbers. So here you can also see some examples on Yonex's racket. So if you spot anything that is wonky or anything that doesn't look right, you might have some issues on your hand. Third one, the Yonex hologram. So there should be a hologram sticker on every single Yonex's racket. It is actually placed on the racket cone. So here is an old Yonex hologram sticker as well as a recent one. To verify the Yonex holographic sticker, you need a Yonex Authenticity verifier and they tend to get shipped to Yonex stores all around the world. Alex from AK Badminton and Tennis over in California very kindly sent this one over to me so thank you Alex, do check them out and link in the description below. So using the authenticity checker you can actually see on the visible side the Yonex lettering would appear on every single row of the holographic sticker whereas on the invisible side none should appear. So if you are in doubt you can always head to a racket shop and they should have something like this for you to identify your racket's authenticity. If you've bought your racket somewhere within the SP region, chances are you might have a Yonex Sunrise sticker in addition to the Yonex holographic sticker stuck onto your racket cone somewhere, which looks like this. So Yonex Sunrise is part of the Sunrise group which is based in Singapore, who are the sole distributor of Yonex and Mikasa products across 14 Asian countries. Now this is an old Yonex Sunrise sticker on show here. Current stickers have a scratch area which reveals a code which you can then put into the Yonex group website to quickly check the authenticity. The sticker is present on almost every single Yonex product distributed over in the SP region. I'll put the Yonex Sunrise Authenticity Checker website link in the description below. Now the fourth method does need a little work. So underneath your racket's original grip, there's always a barcode sticker on the wooden handle on genuine Yonex rackets. So if you've unwrapped your racket's original grip and have found no barcode sticker underneath it, oops. So the fifth method to identify a fake or genuine Yonex racket is pretty hard if you don't have another racket to compare with. This technique relies on the physical feel and the visuals of the racket. So you would check your racket if it's genuine because it was an expensive model which tends to be the higher end ones. They should be better made as well. So one test I was taught a long time ago was to twist the racket with the racket head slightly. It should feel pretty stiff. Compare that with a fake Yonex racket, you'll see that the fake ones are significantly softer with less rigidity and stiffness to the frame and shaft compared to a genuine racket. You need to also look at the grommets and paint job. If it's not perfect, you might not have a genuine racket in your hands. So that's it. 
Let me know in the comments section below how else will you check if your Yonex racket is genuine? Have you come across a fake racket as well? And if you like this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you and see you next time.